Welcome to July. It's time to plan, manifest, and create. We're still in an open time period of manifesting and creating these new adventures and experiences for your future. Uh, this is an optimal time for the first half of the, the month because all of the inner planets are moving direct, creating this opportunity to have flow with the universe to work with you. Look to the right people and re resources to flow back to you. With the sun in Cancer, this is going to allow a time for you to reflect reflect and focus on the important things in your life. You may feel a more deep connection to family or want to spend some more time with your inner circle. This is also going to allow for you to be able to clear out some old conflicts and put them to rest. What you need to know for your July 2023 astrology forecast. Hi, I'm Patricia Tate with WillowGraceMystic.com and this is your astrology for July 2023. Leo and Leo rising. So on July 3rd, you're going to have a full moon in Capricorn. So currently the sun is in your 12th house and the 12th house is the hidden. It's where we go to uh, go within for rest, relax relaxation or dreams. It's uh, a time to go within and it is illuminating your sixth house. And so Having a full moon in Capricorn in the sixth house is about a good time to look at results of your actions that you've taken or decisions that you made from your past. Capricorn energy wants you to work on projects that need precision and detail. These things that can lead to great opportunities and success. A full moon can also illuminate projects that you need to fine tune and tweak that need to be corrected. And so a full moon in your sixth house is associated with your health, your fitness, your daily routines, it is your pets, your work, especially in connection with those that you work with on a daily basis. The sixth house can be you having an end to some a health issue or a culmination or finally getting the answers to what it is or you finding a mentor. Uh, the sixth house is where we find balance between our work and our home and it's also the house of where we give service to others so maybe where you were donating your time you're now ready to move on from that or it could be an end to a working relationship with a a colleague or uh, retiring moving resigning it's literally going to be some kind of an ending and ready to move on to a new beginning so then next on July 10th, on July 10th, Mars, which is currently in your first house of initiating things that have to do personally with you. Mars is the planet of initiation. It's now going to move into your second house. The second house for you is your self-worth, your cash, your properties. It's things that you that truly belong to you. And it's in the detailed sign of Virgo. So together, this is a really high energy that can be very productive. You can be more passionate, have more energy and drive to power through work projects. You may make some lists or get organized so you can begin to tackle these projects one at a time. This could have something to do with your cash, your property, your things that where you put your money. And it also has to do with how does this make me feel safe and secure. Next, on July 17th, you're going to have a new moon in Cancer. Now, this is your 12th house. New moons, they're an opportunity for you to set intentions around me needing to feel safe and secure, uh, something that has to do with home or family matters, possibly remote modeling or setting aside an area for you to have as a area of comfort. It's also a perfect opportunity to start a project. So new moons in the 12th house, this is you diving into your subconscious, your dreams, your intuition. It's things that are hidden. It's things that are unseen. It governs places of confinement like hospitals, mental institutions, prisons, but it's also about retreats going away for spiritual healing. So this is you hibernating with your favorite book or with deciding to maybe take a class or a workshop on something that has to do with past life regressions or uh, dream interpretation or understanding your spirit animal or your spirit guide. The 12th house deals with your deepest fears and your desires and your dreams. And it's about holistic healing and you going within in order to find those things. 
Next, on July 22nd, you're going to have Venus stationing retrograde. Now, Venus is in your first house of self, illuminating how, how everything that has to do with you and your self-worth and being beautiful from the inside out. Venus is the planet of love and money and aesthetics. It represents your values, your finances, your material possessions. Now stationing retrograde in the passionate and playful sign of Leo, expect to revisit some people, places, and things or emotions from your past. Now there could be emotions that are tied to money or love, and it's not uncommon for people that from your past to resurface at this time. Know that whoever comes back in, it's going to be temporary because Venus is only retrograde for 40 days until September 4th. And then those people will then go back out of your life. Now, at this time, it can make it a little bit more difficult for you to show love or express affection. Maybe you show too much or too little or you lack this connection with your heart. Remember that Venus is the sign of relationships. Leo is extremely passionate. It comes from the heart. Venus retrograde in Leo is asking you to tune in and listen to your heart. Do you feel joyful? Do you feel alive? Are you happy with how you look? With who you're connected with? Are you passionate about your relationships? Leo is where you look to to experience joy and pleasure and this is a tune in and check up with who you are. Venus stations retrograde in the same sign every eight years and it activates the similar area of your chart and it brings up these same themes to your attention. And the last time that Venus was retrograde in Leo was July to September of 2015. So think back to what was going on in your life back then to have an idea of a similar theme. Now, we're also going to have the sun entering Leo. So happy birthday, all Leos. This is really going to illuminate this area of your life with love, creativity, and affection. And with Venus retrograde, it going into your first house of self, there's going to be possibly some bumps in the road or challenges that you're going to need to work through because that's what the sun does. The sun illuminates those things for you to work through. This is you finding a need to find healthy and positive ways to use your creative energy in order for you to show love. So for an in-depth understanding of your chart, you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and to hear updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe.